going to start in child's pose today with our knees wider on the mat and the toes touching slowly settling in working into the hips walking the hands out deep breaths in elongating the spine and maintaining a nice long torso slowly melting towards the mat as the hips start to release a little bit of blocked energy and settling into the space around us noticing the temperature of the room the sounds Maybe some smells. Breathing deeply, expanding the rib cage laterally. And noticing the rhythm of our breath. How it might be shallow deep, quick, or slow. Taking a moment to get a sense of the mood and the energy running through the body. And the state of the body at the beginning of today's practice. Perhaps either reflecting on an intention or setting one for the practice. Breathing in new air, new energy and curiosity. And letting go throughout our practice of any air, energy, vibrations that aren't serving us, any negativity, anything that would serve us to let go of. And on our next inhalation, we're going to slowly draw ourselves up into all fours, bringing our hands under our shoulders, our knees under our hips. And then slowly starting to shift our weight left and right. Let's slowly warm up our spines. A little tail wag looking back towards the feet. And working into our side body. And allowing the head to hang heavy and to sway left to right with the movement. more on each side and then we'll meet up in neutral and come into some bird dogs and we've got many variations here first off extending the left foot all the way out flexing the foot toes are driving into the floor and we'll go ahead and reach the right arm beside the ear we're gazing down Lifting the left leg off the mat if that feels comfortable. Let's hold here in a spinal balance for a few breaths. Keeping the left hip rolled down so our hips are squared. I noticed mine had already come up and the toes are pointing down to the floor. And we'll take a deep breath in here. 
On the exhale, we're gonna curl in, crunching the elbow to the knee. In, exhale, we extend all the way back up. Deep breaths in, exhale, crunching in. Inhale, reaching long. Finding a rhythm that suits our breath. Noticing the abdomen start to fire. And creating a nice strong line between the right fingertips and the left toes. We'll do three more. Good, last one here. Inhaling, reaching, reaching, reaching. And then go ahead and reset the right hand under the right shoulder. The left foot is gonna come back. It's gonna plant, we're gonna pivot the right leg out. And we'll reach up with our left arm. Option here is to lift the left leg as well. Reaching, standing between the fingertips in both hands. Continuing to keep the left foot flexed. Option here is to lower the foot. Option to grab onto the foot behind our backs. Pressing the foot into the hand, opening up the hip flexor, lifting the chest high. Calm strength. Bringing our awareness back to the breath and our stability the strength that we're generating. Two more breaths. Uh, and go ahead and release the foot and the arm back down to the mat. Resetting here, go ahead and circle around, finding a flow that feels good. Rinsing out what we've just done on that side. Good. And switching directions. all for a tabletop. We'll repeat the sequence on our other side. So this time extending the right leg long, again flexing the foot, driving the toes into the earth. When you're ready, go ahead and reach the left arm long alongside the ear. And if you'd like to lift your right leg, go ahead. Remembering to keep the hips squared. Toes are pointing down. Head is neutral, making sure that we can shake our heads, rolling left and right. Good. Taking our deep breaths in, and on the exhalation, we crunch in, drawing the elbow towards the thigh. Inhaling, reaching, finding that spinal balance, and noticing the pattern between the left fingers and the right toes. Big, strong reaches, engaging the back and the glutes. Two more. Last one here, we find ourselves back, reaching long, bringing the left hand down onto the mat, the right foot plants down, we rotate, pivoting the left foot open, reaching our right arms over top of our bodies. Option, of course, is to lift the right leg off the mat, keeping the right foot flexed, engaging the right quadricep, lifting the kneecap, reaching, reaching. 
find grounding in our left fingers. The knuckles are pressing into the mat. Option to reach back for the right foot. Lifting the chest, pressing the foot into the hand, and getting a bit of a hip flexor stretch. Using our breath to find our inner balance, restoring the sense of calm, One more breath here. And we rotate out of that nice and gently, releasing the foot, bringing the arm all the way back down to the earth. And go ahead and shift or roll, whatever feels good. Yay for that. Curling our toes underneath our shins. We're slowly going to lift our hips and come into our first down dog. Taking our deep breaths in. Now on the exhale, we lift the hips up onto the toes. And let's start by bending the knees on the inhalation. And exhale, lifting, straightening the back of the legs. Inhaling, we lower the knees. Exhale, we straighten and lift, pressing the heels to the earth, finding the grounding in our fingertips, flowing with our breath, letting the neck hang heavy, the head is heavy. Maybe finding a little bit more length in the back body each time. Noticing the location of our heels as we warm into the pose. Two more times. Up on the toes, on the inhale, all the way up, come on up on the toes. And let's shift the feet over to the right, planting the heels, breathing here into the left side body. We're keeping our shoulders square to the mat, we're not rotating. Checking in, what's happening in the left side. Good, inhaling back to center, up on the toes again. Then we pivot over to the left. Again, keeping the shoulders square, facing forward, noticing what's happening in the right side this time, maybe even the left hip. Breathing deeply, expanding the ribs, getting a good massage. And on the next inhale, we come back to center. Go ahead and pedal that out. Finding both heels planted towards the mat. We're floating through a high plank into an upward facing dog. So inhale up on the toes, floating over the shoulders, lowering down, upward facing. Inhaling all the way back up, floating, floating back to our down dog, pressing the heels into the mat. Inhaling, floating forward, lowering down, upward facing dog. Gentle back bend. Going three more times through this flow. Warming and lengthening the body. Two more. Yeah, let's get off of our hands for a moment, walking our feet in towards the hands. 
Coming into our forward fold, walking the feet out. So they're about hip width apart. Good. And now let's slowly roll up like a rag doll, stacking the vertebrae one at a time. Shoulders, neck, and head. And we'll do a little bit of a head to waist. Slowly shifting the head left to right. Noticing any sensations in the neck. And now option to start circling the head. Halfway, full way. Just exploring our range of motion today. Our feet stacked under the hips, the shoulders stacked on top. Maybe changing directions. Finding our way back to center. Let's roll the shoulders back. Again, noticing what's happening in our shoulders. Are we holding tension there that maybe we can let go of now? Create space for the energy to run through. And let's switch to forward rolls. And now with big arm circles, drawing the arms back and around. Bringing the arms all the way up over our heads, palms are together. Now let's come into a gentle side bend. Anchoring the hip down. Opening up, we're not compressing the inner side. We're creating space for our breath here. Good. Inhaling back to center, reaching top, and then coming over to the other side. Once again, drawing the hip down and away, elongating the entire torso. Breathing as deeply as possible. One more breath. Good. Back to center. And let's switch the direction of our arms coming forward this time. Or back, whichever you didn't do last time. Last one, big breath. And then shifting left to right. Let's just allow the arms to sway, tapping onto the sides or the back of our body as vigorously as you like. And just getting the energy flowing, feeling a sense of revitalized energy, vitality, and freshness go into your evening. Great, two more. And then we'll be back in the center. Deep breaths in, maybe walking the feet out a little bit. And we'll take deep breaths in through the nose. And we're going to come all the way down on the exhale into our Malasana squat. Inhale, forward folding. Exhale, we roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders, neck, and head at the top. We inhale, bringing the palms together, reaching up. Exhale, we lower down into our squats. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale, we roll back up, finding a flow that suits your breath, your energy, and your mobility.
gentle back bend with each inhale as we reach up. Gazing up at our thumbs. Let's do two more. Reaching all the way up, palms together, we come right back down into our Malasana squat. Holding down here. Good. Shifting our feet as needed. We'll do a dynamic arm raise. So bringing the left arm out. Inhaling, reaching all the way up with the right arm. Lowering the right on the exhalation. Pressing it over the right and inhaling with the left. Gentle spinal twist. Floating to your breath, inhaling, lifting your arm. Exhaling, lowering, alternating sides. Warming and building strength in our lower back. Drawing the shoulder blades back, engaging the upper back. One more on each side. Coming back to center, we inhale forward folding, pressing the knees back, finding a comfortable place for our feet, maybe hip width. Good. Bringing our arms behind our backs, interlacing, straightening the arms, letting them roll forward over the back and the head. Go ahead and bend the right knee and start rolling the torso towards the left. Hugging the torso into the knee. Starting to open the left side body. You may feel this all the way from the left foot into the left shoulder, through the hip, through the hamstring, lower back. And we're building a little strength in the right quadricep at the same time. Deep breaths, lifting the chest, rolling over and opening. Good. Deep breath, inhaling back to center. Go ahead and release the hands. Shifting the weight left to right. Bending one knee at a time. And we'll do the same thing over on the other side. So once again, finding stillness, bringing the hands behind the back, straightening, rolling the shoulders behind the back and head. When you're ready, go ahead and lift, bend the left knee, rotate the arms towards the left and the chest towards the right. Notice what's happening in the right back of the leg and the hip. Noticing the left quadricep fire. I'm trying to breathe 
for steady inhalation and exhalation through the nose. back under our hips. On the inhale, we're going to open up the arms, lifting the chest high. Exhaling, we're going to round forward, hugging ourselves in. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we round. Tucking the chin to the chest. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding. As big or as little of movements as suits you today. Drawing in new energy. Self love and compassion. And perhaps you want to take the opportunity to repeat an affirmation in your mind or out loud. Do one more. Uh, inhaling all the way up. Exhaling, hands to heart center. We come into a chair. Noticing our toes beyond our shins and our knees. Drawing your shoulders in and down. Tall spine, pressing the palms together, lifting our torsos. Lightness in the toes as we lower our weight towards the heels. Inhaling, we rise all the way up. Exhale, we come back into our chair. Floating through, inhaling, rising. Exhale, lowering. Keeping the heat flowing. Inhaling all the way up, palms together, arm to the lower back, exhaling, we float forward, forward, forward. <sighs> Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, forward, forward. Planting our fingers, stepping back into a plank. Vinyasa, elbows are forward facing. We lower down, chaturanga. Upward cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling, stepping all the way back into our down dog. Good. Taking a few breaths here. Possibly reflecting on an intention we may have set at the beginning of our practice. Checking in with the mood and the energy of the body. Good. On the next inhale, we're going to lift our left foot off the ground. Pressing the weight into the right heel. Good. We're going to float forward into our plank, bringing our left knee to our left elbow. Inhaling. Cross it over to the right, back to the left, and extend. We'll repeat this. Inhaling. 
over, across, and extending. Finding your rhythm. Pressing into the upper back. Taking our time, slow and steady. Challenging our entire body and mind. Finding that inner strength through our breath. Focusing on the moment. Knowing it won't last forever. And that we can get through this. The goal is two more. Maybe pressing that left foot up a little bit higher each time. Drawing the right heel towards the earth, holding here, bending the left knee, rotating the hips open, looking up underneath the armpit towards the floating foot. Keeping our shoulders square. Fingers on both hands are really gripping into the mat. Two more breaths. Great. Inhaling, rolling back to center, lowering all the way down, child's pose. Coming off of our hands, between sides, going ahead and shifting the weight, maybe making fists with the hands if that feels good. Stretching out the wrists and the back of the hands. We'll take a few more breaths here. Grabbing a sip of water as needed. Great. Now let's get to all fours. Curling the toes, down dog. And you know what's coming, so we'll repeat the sequence on the right side. Finding our stability. Lifting our right leg on the inhale. Holding it up. Pressing our weight into the left heel, keeping our shoulders straight. And when you're ready, go ahead and float forward, bringing the right knee to the right elbow. Crossing it over and back. Exhale. Good. Inhaling, floating forward. Exhale, float back. Lifting the right leg higher each time as possible. Noticing the left leg open up in the back. Moving to the rhythm of our breath. Three more. Last one. Calm strength. Head stand back. Bending the knee, rotating the hips open, looking up underneath the armpit at the floating foot. <sighs> we made it. Noticing the energy running through the body, the heart pumping, feeling alive. And regenerated. Good. Inhale, rotating back, to, rotating back to center, lowering all the way back down. Getting off of our hands, shifting the weight back. Go ahead and roll the wrists, making little fists, opening, closing, or rolling the arms, whichever feels good. 
taking a moment to reflect on any intention we may have set at the beginning of our practice. And on the next inhale, we're going to draw ourselves back up into all fours. We won't be here for long. Exhaling, stepping up into down dog. Inhale, lifting the left leg. Gazing forward, coming up on our toes, stepping through into our lunge. Low lunge here. Lowering the knee and the right foot. Good. Finding stability, lifting our torsos, pressing the knee away. Let's go ahead and float forward on the inhale and back on the exhale. Maybe lifting the toes off the mat. Finding a flow. Feels good. One more breath. 
Next inhalation, we lift the right foot off the ground. Pressing into the left heel to start and then coming up on the left toes, gazing forward, stepping through low lunge, planting the right foot, lowering the left knee and top of the foot, finding our stability. Bring your hands up and when you're ready, go ahead and float forward and back, slowly starting to peel the toes off the mat. any different sensations on this side of the body. Coming onto the thigh muscle if possible on the left leg. And then once you've found stability, go ahead and open the right arm all the way up, lifting the chest, possibly grabbing onto the left foot, drawing it in for a quadricep stretch. So long as we can keep a tall torso and an open chest and shoulder stand. Big breaths in, breathing into any areas of discomfort, checking in with the breath, letting it guide us, letting it guide the depth of our pose. One more big breath. Good. And let's rotate all the way back to center, releasing our foot, bringing both feet underneath, crossing, and coming all the way down into a staff pose, bringing our feet in front of us, taking another sip of water as desired. Good. Go ahead and reset. Flexing the toes, inhaling, lifting the arms on the shoulders. Exhaling, hinging forward, reaching towards the shins, the ankles, the feet, maintaining a tall spine. Taking a few breaths here in our staff pose. And on the next inhale, 
We'll roll the vertebrae back up. Shoulders neck and head. Bringing our hands underneath our shoulders. Fingers are pointing forward. Option here to do a reverse table or a reverse plank, whichever feels better. So if you're into a reverse table today, totally fine. Planting the feet, deep breaths in. And then lifting the hips, stacking the knees over top of the ankles. Shoulders are over top of the wrists. If that's not sufficient enough for you today, go ahead and lower back down. Bringing the legs back into your staff pose, inhaling and coming into a reverse plank. Finding whichever pose feels best for your shoulders and wrists as well as your lower back. You have options. Try them out, find which one works for you. Lowering down at any point you might need, but also trying to stay with any areas of discomfort. Staying with them until they transition a little bit. Maybe feeling some tightness down the front of the arms that may be causing a little bit of discomfort in the shoulders and neck. Let's work through it. Keeping the hips up. Engaging the glutes. We're not just having a chest and a shoulder opener here. We're still building some muscle. Not only in our bodies, but our minds. Staying with it as long as possible. Let's go for three more big breaths. Feeling the opening, feeling the heat generating. Good job. And let's lower down gently, scooching our butts down towards our feet. And we're gonna lower ourselves all the way down so that we can do a few hip bridges. Ah, yay for that. <laughs> Finding our arms along the sides of our bodies, along the sides of our mats. And again, with our feet about hip width apart. Taking deep breaths in. We're gonna lift our hips up to the sky. Let's hold at the top. Wiggling the left foot into the center. And let's lift the right leg off the mat. Bringing it back down, lifting the left. Let's do a little bit of marching here. If that feels good on the lower back, building the glutes and the stability in our outer hips and legs. Slow and steady, there's no rush. Driving into the shoulder blades and the back of the neck. Slowly starting to get a bit of a neck opener as well in this pose. One more on each side. Good. And let's plant both feet, lifting the hips one more time as high as possible. Maybe interlacing the hands underneath the back. Checking in with the neck and the shoulders as our chin comes towards our chest. And checking in with our breath. Good. Last breath here. And we'll lower all the way back down. Good. Keeping our feet where they are. We're not done yet. We haven't done some ab sets in a while. So we'll do our hand chopping in our L scissor legs. <laughs> Reaching our arms over our head, making some sort of a hand gesture, maybe a, a pistol. Deep breaths in. And on the exhale, we bring the arms to the outside of the leg. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, inside. Switching legs. Inhale. Exhaling, chopping. We switch legs. Chop out, chop in, switch legs. Chop out, chop in, switch legs. To your speed. Push through it. We won't do many. Find that inner strength. Mm. 
use the ujjayi breath to power the motion. Working the shoulders and the back muscles. Let's do two more on each side, or at least try. Hovering that leg down. I know it's getting challenging. My abs are firing. We're almost done right here. Oh, yay for that. Reaching the arms and legs long. Arch in the lower back, opening the abdomen. Big smiles on our faces, but it's over. And deep breaths in all the way through the abdomen to the lower back. Option here to stay where you are, finding Shavasana and getting a head start on it, or option to come into one last pose, wheel pose or upward bow, bringing the feet all the way back in. The hands are underneath the shoulders, so wrapping them underneath, coming up onto the head to start, and all the way up onto the arms if that feels accessible to you today. Lifting the hips, arching the lower back, pressing the earth away. Lowering down when you're ready, slowly coming back down to the head, rolling onto the neck and shoulders. Lowering the hips and go ahead and hug the knees in when you get there. Early into a little ball. This is your practice. Doing what you need today. Good. Let's float the left leg long on the mat, hugging the right knee into the chest. And then coming into a spinal twist one last time. Left hand comes to the outside of the right knee. We reach the right arm long, gazing over to the right. Keeping the shoulder blades planted on the mat, maybe bouncing if that feels good. Just being very gentle of the lower back and all those little nerve endings. Creating space between the vertebrae of the lower back. And maybe letting go of some tension that we may be holding in the right side of the neck and shoulder. Breathing deeply. Nourishing the tissues along the spine with every inhalation. Two more breaths. And then we'll come back to center. Gently rolling. Bringing both knees over our hips. Letting the right leg float long, left knee tucks in. And when you're ready, go ahead and rotate over. Bring the right hand to the outside of the left knee, looking over to the left. Gentle spinal twist. Again, nourishing all the tissues along the spine with each inhalation. And using the exhalation to let go any residual tension, stress, negativity of any kind that isn't serving us. Melting into the mat. Enjoying the heat that we've generated. 
and that feeling of vitality. Inhaling our way back to center, allowing both legs to float long, finding our natural and neutral spinal position, coming into our final resting pose, enjoying the moment of having stopped, feeling the contact of our bodies on the mat below as we run through a body scan from head to toe. Once again, reflecting on any intention we may have set at the beginning of practice and possibly setting a new one for the evening and days ahead. Noticing the mood and the energy of our bodies and how it may have changed from the beginning of our practice. Breathing in new, fresh air and energy, filling the lungs, holding it all in at the top. And when you're ready, sighing it out. Repeating that two more times if it feels good. And when you're ready, go ahead and curl up into a little ball as we roll ourselves over and back up, coming back to the space around us. with our hands at heart center, smiles on our faces. We give thanks for this opportunity to practice together, the opportunity to move our bodies and to find new energy and inspiration for the evening ahead. Thank you all for joining. Namaste.